Hey guys, welcome to Chirag's Kitchen with me, Chirag Parmar. So today I'm going to show you some new and unique recipe, which is very tasty and attractive. So today I'm going to make mixed vegetable potli. So let's start. So first I'm going to prepare the chutney. So today I'm going to prepare two types of chutney. One is tamarind chutney and mint and coriander chutney. Second is so first I had taken one bowl and then I had taken two tablespoon of tamarind and then two tablespoon of jaggery and then we have to put as water as per requirement and then mix and give for soaking and take the mixer jar first we have to add half cup of mint leaves half cup of coriander leaves green chilies five to six and add five to six garlic cloves two tablespoon of lemon juice and salt as per taste and after that we have to put water as per requirement and then we have to mix properly and our chutney is ready you can see after that we i had taken the tamarind which i i had kept for soaking so we have to add in the mixer jar we have to add one teaspoon of turmeric powder add salt as per taste you requirement and then red chili powder 2 teaspoon after that we have to mix the grinder and our chutney is ready so now for the dough i had taken 3 cups of all purpose flour in the bowl and then we have to add carom seeds so first we have to crush with the palm and we have to sprinkle on the dough and we have to add salt as per taste and then 3 tablespoon of oil for the crispy layer and then we have to mix it properly and we have to bind you can see the texture i had taken in the hand and crushed so after that we have to add the water as per requirement not too much we have to put the water we have to add normal and make the soft dough like roti and after that we have to keep for the resting we have to knead properly and keep for the resting for 10 minutes till that time we will make the stuffing so for i had taken two to three boiled potatoes which i am grating properly in the fine grater so you can see here grating is done after that we have to take oil in the vessel and then we have to add esophodita 3 4 teaspoon and 1 cup of onion and stir very well onion we have to cook till it becomes transparent and then i am adding a ginger garlic crush and then chili paste green chili paste and we have to mix properly after that we have to add half cup of carrot then we have to mix again 3 4 cup of capsicum add half cup of american corn then green peas half cup after that salt as per taste and at last we have to mix all the vegetables together and it's time for spices first we have to add half teaspoon of turmeric powder one teaspoon of red chili powder and coriander powder one teaspoon so that half teaspoon of garam masala then mix well all the spices and then we have to add one teaspoon of amchur powder which i had showed in the last video you can see that i had showed all the spices how to make powder after that we have to add grated potatoes and mix well so our stuffing is ready you can see mix well that all the spices and potatoes mix and at last we have to add coriander and we have to keep for the cooling so cool the stuffing till that time we have to take the dough and we have to do take three fourth of dough aside and mix food color if you don't have food color you can also put vegetable color then mix properly and roll it and cut into small pieces then make the make the thin roti and cut it into thin slices so we can bind the ribbon around the portly after that we have to make the roti of portly and stuff with a uh, stuffing and pack it pack the stuffing properly how i'm packing like samosa or like momos you know and then properly we had done so now it's time for the ribbon so we have to stick the ribbon around the portly and cut the excess of ribbon so our portly is ready 
So now it's time for frying. So take the oil in the vessel, heat oil on the medium flame and then add only four portly at a time we have to cook till golden brown it becomes you can see so the texture has been become very crispy and we have to cook on the medium flame only so our portly is ready so you can see how tasty portlies are ready with the mint mint and coriander and tamarind chutney so enjoy this season so now I am having a bite of it you also try at your home and please do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel Chirak's kitchen and share the happiness and please press the bell icon so you can stay updated with my all recipes thank you